holding their weight. Secure it. One rod, another rod. There's two more, so let's, all right, so let's put this here for now. Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode Fishing with Alias. I just want to do a quick video here on how I'm setting up my Old Town Topwater PDL to go fishing today. We're going saltwater fishing and I'm just going to go over my super basic setup. You don't need a lot of stuff when you go fishing. If you take more things with you, it's just going to make the fishing trip more like a business. So you don't want that. Try to find what works for you and try to reduce it even more. You don't need that so many crazy stuff, right? Let me show you what I got here. What we got here is a quick setup for the P Old Town PDL, Topwater PDL. Didn't take a lot of time thinking about this. I just, like I have my go-to setup. I got my milk crate with my my fish measuring thingy, fish stick from uh, Jack Gear. I got two rod holders. There. So I knew the boat had two rod holders and I have a bunch of rail blasts and accessories. And I added another rod holder. Should have brought another one, but anyways, doesn't matter. We got right here the Jack Gear Make Your Own Milk Crate. We got my Walmart Allsorg Trail cooler. It's been with me for a while, it hasn't broken yet, so that means this thing is good. We got my Aloha waterproof bag. Water is still getting there. So you gotta be careful, it's not 100% like waterproof, but it, it does prevent a lot of water from coming in. I mean, if you fold it enough, I think it will be my backwater assassin paddle here. Love this paddle. I'm having a little bit of issue with, with this secure thing here, with this not 100% secure in that so I need to need to see what's going on there but I really like this bottle it's really strong it's not that heavy it's carbon fiber and the design is just killer rare blast amount I really love this HD plates because this thing is so secure there it's not gonna go anywhere when it's just one attachment point it could get loose and all the stuff that it's amazing it occupies a lot more space but it's worth it and of course, we got the drive on already. And we're using the sea tog now to move the kayak to the water. I have it already ready to go. All the things that I need for fishing are here. I got my tackle, my gold bait, all the stuff. That's all I need. I've been fishing just with plastics for a few months now. Not really worrying about taking live bait with me, although I wanted to bring my net today. I didn't do it, I should have done that. But I think I could get some live bait just with my setup right here. This this is killer. This Amarabu jig is killer for getting a small fish and even big fish sometimes. Guys, yeah, this is my setup of the Old Town PDL Top Water series. Can't wait to take it on the water. This is the new one that they just sent me over for review. It's gonna be epic. So what I'm using today, I got this Pen Slammer 3. This thing is waterproof, it's amazing no maintenance whatsoever I don't do to this thing it works like the first day I'm gonna make a video on this ugly stick tiger rod it's really good I like it we got a PC fun touring combo right here I really like this reel super cheap got my custom made rod here by our holder custom blades and I got a PC fun carbon right here this this reel is nice man it's, it's really tiny super powerful stuff and it's super light I really like that if you want a nice light reel for like light applications this one check that one out best in the rod i made a review on it you can check it out we're gonna link it and this pc phone phantom i don't like it as much as i like the the torrent one kind of weird like i saw all the reviews and uh, i got the same idea that that it takes longer it takes longer to get it adjust to to you for some reason it's not a bad reel it's just that anyways let's get on the water <laughs> 